four, I think. Four is enough. Four is an. <gasps> Yo, what? Right, so this is a big one. Uh, today I'm gonna be breaking down how we achieved this amazing flapping 3D wing in After Effects on one of my recent live streams. Uh, like the last video, I will be showing you through the process of making this object by messing around as well as piling on top of it suggestions coming from a live audience. Needless to say, this was such a fun stream to be part of and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the process. So I first started out with a simple rectangular shape that was higher on the uh, top and bottom and narrower on either sides and mess around with its great properties. <laughs> and while waiting for everyone to roll in, I put in a repeater option. Uh, definitely one of my most favorite effects to play with a shape. In essence, what the repeater does is creating an array of objects based on your original shape. You can determine the amount of the same shapes uh, there are in one array, and more importantly, you can determine the way the shapes transform from the beginning to the end of the array, which is where things become pretty interesting. Uh, for instance, if I turn up the rotational value by plus 12 degrees, then the shape standing next in line will be rotated clockwise by 12 degrees and so on and so forth. And same goes for the positional and scale properties. Whichever settings you choose to adjust, it will be applied to the subsequent shapes except for the opacity options, which affects the beginning and the ending of the line. And all of these will, will become crucial later on. I'm trying to see if this works. Wow. I like the part over here just starting to uh, flare out like a bunch of like you know one of those weird curtains that goes like piling on top of each other that's very good I'm gonna put a new uh, adjustment layer on top of it uh, this is a part where the whole conception of the visual takes a steep turn uh, my next few steps was to create a map for an effect to rely on that goes from white to black uh, this will make sense later on as I applied the infamous time displacement effect oh, and used the uh, big shape as a map. Now, uh, given its name, it's quite ironic that the time displacement effect hasn't always been the quickest effect to run, and in my stream, it was no exception. Jonas, what's your name? Because we're up to today. We are up to no good, my man. Basically, I wanted the rotation of the copied shapes to happen sequentially at a slower pace. Uh, therefore, therefore, oh my god, I just sound like a New Yorker. Therefore, wherever the lighter part of the mass lands on, uh, things are going to happen quicker as opposed to the darker sides of the mask. What? Got some jaggedy edges over here, but that's fine. Playing with around, around with time displacement. Hell yeah. Oh, hell, hell to the, to no. the no. Okay. This one is. I then push the offset value back to zero, then move the shape to the edge of the screen. Before this could resemble anything close to a wing, uh, I went through a whole slew of botch experiments with it. I think if we have time, we can like probably come up with some very unique shapes and animation. I'm really, really liking what's going on over here. It's starting to look a little bit like slit scan, one of those slit scan effects, which I think is also can be achieved using time displacement anyway. Uh, so I'm gonna jump into the repeater, drop this down. Repeater! <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Oh, and then scrunch up like this. What? Mm -hmm. I, th I think it starts out very promising here uh, and I can't really see what's going on anymore. So it only started to come together when I decided to make the whole thing black and white, brought down the differences between each repetitions and drop the scale of the repetitions down. 
I wish I could fully describe what I was feeling then, but something just really makes me want to preserve this specific part over here and somehow extend that to the rest of the object. I like how when, when it starts out it has some sort of a 3D, three-dimensional look over here. And then we start to have a little bit of repeat over here when the uh, there's like a big patch of negative color. Let's watch it back. Yeah, it's starting to look more like it's delayed from this side up until the side. Let's turn on the fill. See what that does. Oops. Uh, radio gradient. There we go. I was really surprised when the gradient really helped sell the three look as if there is an actual light source to the left of the object. I think I think over here is when it starts it uh, stops being uh, uh, interesting. So I'm gonna put a keyframe there. Have the motion eased up like this. And look at that! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ooh, what if I displaced it uh, vertically? being all horizontal and stuff and then it just comes fly flying up to the screen look at them we're gonna make the flying movement uh, ooh there we go it just start it's like a wave and then it comes back down back down to uh plus four i think floor is enough four is not <gasps> and ladies and gentlemen there we have it 23 minutes into the stream and we have finally caught the first glimpse of the wing. Yo, what? Uh, this one comes back to uh, minus four up here. Oh my, we are discovering a new element here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, as wave comes up like that. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> Can't believe it. <laughs> what? Oh my god, I, w I wish I could just keep going. Is there a way to loop this animation back in? Like, let's just copy the sequence up here. This one's going up, yeah. And this one's going up here as well to minus three so that we get like a continuation of this wavy animation right here. Oh, and after it done being uh, rotated over here can just actually rotate back to the other direction minus six i think minus six works because we ended up at uh plus six at the other end and then it just rotates back there we go come on yes it's like a tentacle or something what just Flicker! Oh my God! It, it, it's like a like an organic limb. <laughs> wow! Yeah, it's like an animal waving. I was about to say. I was about to say that. It's like a it's like a wing or a tail. I wish I can see it in a better resolution. But oh my! I do not believe this. I do not believe this. This is actually After Effects. This move right here actually cost me that organic twitch that I love so much. And you'll see that I try to get that back later on. Mind you, I haven't used any plugins at all. Let's have it a little bit more extreme on here. I think this uh, being a little bit extreme is fine. I like, I still love the, the little flickering over here. I think it's gone already, yeah. Because I, I want that little fl flicker back. Yeah, what I'm trying to achieve, uh, some of the guys here uh, who was here earlier saw that uh, there was a little bit of twitching going on over here. Uh, it looks like a muscle that twitches and I'm trying to I'm trying to get that back, but I, I don't know how. But it's, it's gone forever, boys. A little bit like that, yeah. A little bit like, mm. A little bit like, mm. Okay, time to, time to mess with, what? This is so mad, this is so mad. I do not understand. Uh, right now, let's just focus on the wings. Okay, now let's try pucker and bloat. I did not have a difficult time 
pronouncing that at all. Let's see what this does. What? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? This is literally a chicken. We just made a chicken. <laughs> Tell me that's not the feather of a chicken. Let's try negative. Boom. Puck, pucker and bloat. Oh, I, I'm trying to think of something that like an use case for this because we uh, we definitely we definitely gonna have to take this in. What the f is this, dude? Oh my, I'm I'm sorry, I'm sorry so much, but. <laughs> Shut up, shut up, shut up. Time to, time to animate. Time to animate. Okay, I'm gonna drop this down to zero. Okay, this one come down here. I'll pluck her out like this. What? Yo, who who said to who said to put in uh, pucker and bloat? Who is that? Uh, Neil. Neil, you absolute beast. I cannot fathom the the thought of turning on uh, time displacement right now. That is insane. This part over here looks like a 3D shape, but you know, it's stitches in. Okay, here it goes, boys. Moment of truth. Yo. And whatever is going on in here is slowly transgressing from this side to this side. I'm gonna leave it a little bit more time to load. The rest of it but yeah this is incredible for the rest of the stream i tried on a multitude of effects including some glow blur turbulence and even colors some of which are suggestions coming from the live chat it it it's still it's still a rectangle it's still look at this yeah look at it look at it it's just this it's just one shape what the hell whom I really wanted to give a big shout out to. Without my viewers, then the whole thing was probably not as nearly as fun and enjoyable as it was. GPU, I can't hold anymore. <laughs> guys, I'm gonna end the stream right now. Thank you guys so much for turning out this pin. It's been a wild ride, whatever whatever this is that we managed to we managed to cook up. You guys type in W W chat. W chat to everyone. I really wanted to cram the entire live stream in, but you know, uh, timing wise, I think this is where it's gonna stand as a video. As always, you can rewatch all of my live streams on my channel in the live tab. I hope you guys enjoyed this process, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye. It's me. Yes, Mr. Bavit. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Shout out to Mr. Buffett, everybody. Uh, local, uh, local VFX artist Buffett is over here in our stream right now. Biết ngay rồi, biết ngay rồi. Bây giờ trong có một lần một lần Buffett ông ông bảo tôi là ông vào stream của tôi rồi. Hiếu Vũ is my idol in motion graphic. No, uh, uh, Mr. Việt Nguyễn Lương over here is my idol. He punched me in the face once. <laughs>